Welcome to Comet Chasing, where we follow the night sky's wandering comets. This month, we continue to follow Comet 12P slash Pons Brooks, which is marginally detectable in binoculars. Comet C 2021 S3, Pan Stars, remains visible in small telescopes, now becoming more accessible from the northern hemisphere. On the other hand, Comet 62 P Tsuchinshan, having passed its closest approach to the sun, is now fading. While still visible in 6-inch or larger telescopes early in the month, it will quickly become more challenging to observe as the month progresses. Adding something new to the mix, Comet C2023A3, Tsuchinshan Atlas, graces the morning sky, continuing to brighten as it draws nearer to the inner solar system, currently visible in an 8-inch, 20-centimeters telescope. Let's delve into the details of these celestial wanderers and discover what they hold for us this month. Comet 12P Pons Brooks continues to captivate the astronomical community with its dynamic behavior. This Halley-type comet, with an orbital period of 71 years, has become known for its dramatic outbursts, which significantly increase its brightness and alter its coma's appearance. The most recent outburst on January 18th made it visible in binoculars to experienced observers. However, as it returns to its quiescent phase, a small telescope may be more suitable, it is expected to continue brightening as March approaches, with any new outbursts enhancing its visibility. For the latest updates, we encourage you to keep up via our Comet Chasing webpage. It is interesting to see how the expanding green coma obscures the small disk that we have been observing, especially after outbursts. When you see an image like this in the coming months, as the comet grows, remember that deep inside, there still lies a very interesting structure, this is why we encourage observers to use high magnification. The esteemed comet observer Michael Yeager obtained this image on January 20th, two days after the outburst. It captures the now familiar notch and horns that have appeared after each outburst. Currently, Comet 12P Pons Brooks can be observed in the evening from the Northern Hemisphere. Its best visibility in binoculars is anticipated between February 23rd and 29 although it will remain observable in small telescopes throughout the month. The comet is traversing from Cygnus through Lacerta and into Andromeda, moving eastward and away from the onset of evening twilight, offering striking views against a backdrop of stars and clusters. Its magnitude is currently at 8. The coma spans four arc minutes in diameter, with a core that shines brighter than its diffuse edges. After each outburst, features such as jets may become visible under high magnification, presenting a changing appearance that merits nightly observation. So, when you hear of an outburst, start looking with the largest telescope you have access to. As followers of this channel are by now aware, this comet is heading towards its closest approach to the Sun on April 21, 2024, at a distance of 0.8 astronomical units. Its last perihelion occurred in early January 1953, marking its return as a rare and anticipated event. Regrettably, recent observations have yielded potentially disappointing news. The comet has been trending fainter than initially predicted, leading to adjusted expectations for its peak brightness in April. This is the graph of magnitude estimates that Greg Crinklaw, the astronomer behind this channel, uses for his predictions, and you can see this bright portion in December turned out to be temporary. As a result, it is now predicted to reach a maximum brightness of magnitude 4 near perihelion, rather than the previously anticipated magnitude 2.7. The unpredictable nature of its outbursts makes it challenging to precisely forecast the overall brightness curve. The peak visibility near maximum brightness in early April is now estimated to be between magnitude 3 and 5. Greg's predictions suggest it may not achieve naked eye visibility, though it should remain easily observable in binoculars from late March in the Northern Hemisphere and early May from the Southern Hemisphere, these projections will likely change as more data comes in. Regardless, Comet 12P Pons Brooks promises to provide a splendid view in small telescopes, and we look forward to capturing unusual detail in the comet's nucleus. C2021S3, Pan Stars, is currently observable with small telescopes. It will pass perihelion on February 14th at a distance of 1.3 astronomical units. At that time, it will also be 1.4 astronomical units from the Earth. It is predicted to reach a maximum brightness of magnitude 9.5 in early March. 
This comet is primarily visible in the morning sky, accessible from both hemispheres, with a preference for observations from the southern hemisphere as it moves from Scorpius through Ophiuchus and into Serpent's Cauda. Currently at magnitude 10, C 2021 S3, Pan stars, is gradually increasing in brightness. Its coma measures 1.5 arc minutes across, displaying a diffuse concentration at its center. For those interested in observing it, the period between February 8th and 29th offers the best visibility. Spotting it with small telescopes at low magnifications might be challenging, so it is recommended to locate the expected position of the comet using a wide field eyepiece, center it, and then switch to a higher magnification for a clearer view. C 2021 S3 is approaching its perihelion in mid February 2024. Finally, we'd also like to mention that Comet 62P Suchinshan, a comet we have been following here for months but is now fading fast, is performing an interesting U turn in our sky. This is caused by the motion of the Earth around the Sun, which now dominates the apparent motion of the comet. As a result, it will stay close to the galaxies NGC 4608 and 4596 for much of the month, providing an unusually long window of opportunity to image it near these galaxies. As we conclude our overview of this month's comets, we encourage you to venture out into the darkness. No matter your location or the equipment at your disposal, from binoculars to telescopes of all sizes, each comet presents an opportunity to witness something new, like an outburst or a fleeting fuzzball that will not be seen again. Keep an eye on 12 P. Pons Brooks, and remember that a new comet can be discovered at any time. We never really know for sure what's going to happen with comets, so gather your gear, share your findings with the community, and let the stars light your way to discovery. Until we meet again, we wish you clear skies and happy comet chasing.